My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Death's Door. All right. Do I bother upgrading anything that is not haste? Honestly, yes. Like, I totally should. It would make a bunch of sense. Uh, let's get some decks in there. I'm not going to tell anyone I leveled that, though. Uh, and other than that, that's not explodable. I mean, look, let's do a little cursory search of the area. Feels like there will be some small reward, if nothing else. It's not going to be open. Lock door stuff around there. Is it lock head stuff around there, rather? Ah! Exactly the kind of environment I was looking for. Something that was not openable prior, but now, what with all of the whole uh, fireballs that I can do, totally is. The only problem being now I need to be able to go and get myself some fireballs still. There has to be something I can do with that, right? It's got to be breakable somewhere. Come on. Let me break him. Oh, that'll do. Oh, come on! They look exactly like breakables. Even the very start of the game. It just would make sense for them to have some breakables around here. You know, the game immediately begins and you start slashing to try and figure out what your buttons do and they want to give you something to slash. I can totally see it. Um, maybe I just need to jump into an environment in order to pick someone. Oh, hello. So that's the Lockhead. The Lord of Doors, as I am calling them. Sure, it's an assumption, but I'm pretty sure it's an accurate one. All right, fine. Fine, I'll go get some... some striking power from somewhere and then come back. Actually, it's going to be really accessible here. There's... There we go, the mushroom's out here, beautiful. Hmm. Should also start thinking about the possibility these environments have another thing for me to find in them somewhere. The fact that it's very easily accessible to get back to makes me feel like, oh, I mean, you know, Metroidvanias would put something here. I'm gonna try and use my mouse, uh, mouse, my uh, joystick to control the camera a little less. Because it can get really, really quick. Be a little jarring when that happens as well. Alright. Let's make our way and around and out here. Single fireball. Another hundred in the soul, as well as another Reaper's Abandoned Lockbook. My colleague failed to return from a routine mission. I tried heading through his door to check on him, but he was sealed shut. Orders from upper management, apparently. Sent in a query to the head office, and they insisted this was normal procedure and the case was closed. Still no word from my colleague. You mentioned being assigned to assist the powerful witch with some research last time we had lunch. He said he was a bit worried before he started, but she turned out to be quite a nice old lady. I wonder if she had anything to do with the closure. I hope he's all right. Hmm. Hmm. So the excuse given by the Lord of Doors to the rest of the Reapers was I'm sending them there to help with her research. But I think they were what she was researching upon. Or... They weren't involved in the research at all, but the Lord of Doors closed the door behind them so that they would not have any incentive to actually reap the souls they were sent there for as part of his deal with her to protect her family. We found a scale model of an ancient Reaper door. It doesn't function. It was probably made long ago as a mock-up for the doors. Ancient model. We had an ancient door in there as well, so... How long has it been since that calamity? These are shut down, abandoned stations as well, so it has to have been a while. 
Also, you know, the crows have completely picked clean skeletons in that area as well. Another hint that it may have been quite a while. All right. I think I just make my way back out into the main environment as well. Uh, maybe there's some down here. Give it a wee bit of a, wee bit of a check. Okay, nothing. It's just a vista. All right. I'm going to take my path back to... I mean, I could go to the areas that still want me to use my fire... Oops. That still want me to use my fire spell in some way. Or I could just go back to the old lady. Hmm. I'm going to go to the estate of the Urn Witch. There's one of them outside. Pretty nearby here-ish. Okay, that's not going to be a flame spell to get across those. going to be some sort of swinging spell. Hmm. Hmm, pardon me. I was lost in thought. Uh, actually, I do want to see what flame does to bushes, just in case it burns them all down. would give you a little bit more information about what's hiding behind them, that kind of thing. No dice. Now, this is the area that wanted you to light the sconces. It would make sense to hide a sconce in here that cannot be lit. Would it make sense to hide a sconce in there that cannot be lit? Surely that would just be frustrating instead, actually. Hmm. Okay, no, I'm just going back in the manor, I think. Which is probably best accomplished by going to the main world and jumping back out. So that was our escape from the Hall of Doors. So we just go in back to the Ceramic Manor. And check in with Pothead. Ah, right, of course. Those unlock the basement. Got it. Pothead? Pothead? Buddy? You around here? Pothead! It's 418, buddy. Where are you? So we've got the lock for that. Or the key for that lock, rather. Hmm. Okay, again, I shouldn't have checked onto that. Game wasn't telling me there was going to be anything there. I was just, just making it up in my own head. Hmm. Furnace observation rooms beneath the ceramic manor. Furnace observation rooms. Okay, so those are like wisps of soot and moats. That kind of thing, right? That's that's what's going on with the folks in the pot. Okay, and then you strike in one direction in order to get this to move. And it doesn't necessarily only need one strike. It is a momentum-based thing. Okay, again, game wasn't giving me any hint that there was something in that direction. Mm. Can I have a life seed? Thank you. But it was doing that. There's no way there's a secret in the middle there. Like, you know, get off halfway through or something like that. I kind of want to fall into the pit. The game hasn't really let me fall into any pits that have been bad. Making me think, oh, is, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's broadly okay to do that. Also, we can see again here, this just below a leap of some kind. I feel like I'm about to get the tool for that. At least I'm hopeful. I should probably do that, right? I should probably... Ooh, a giant glob monster of some kind. Um, I should probably do that. I should probably wait until I stack up, like, a bunch of things that want me to backtrack and check all of the previous locations for puzzles. Rather than just get one tool and immediately go back. Okay, so you've given me the recharge, so I know that's important here. 
pretty sure I know why as well. Two more in two shots. Hell yeah. a collectible somewhere near here. Yes, there was. That's our four, four, six. So I've got one point of dex, two points of haste. I mean, look, a point of strength makes a whole bunch of sense, don't it? I don't want to be doing it like that. I kind of I kind of do just want to barrel down the line of something and see if that's usable. Oh, that's not even... I've, I've been just assuming the entire time that was water. It's just a conveyor belt. Nothing to be scared of. Whoa, hang on. That's Pothead. Hey, what are you doing to Pothead? Trying to keep him permanently preserved in formaldehyde? That's not how you keep him alive. That's how you keep him, comma, dead. I wonder if I can actually force that to come this direction by hitting it. Yes, but I would have to hit it across. Okay. Let's just do an arrow instead. Oh. Hello? Hello, Death Store? Oh, yep. It's mine. Woohoo! Uh, that wasn't the game crashing or anything like that, to be very clear. Uh... It was C Cleaner has updated itself in the background. Anything else in this area that I need to take note of? No. Yes. Of course. Of course. A puzzle that didn't necessarily need to be solved, but it rewards us with a shrine. Get a piece of a vitality crystal, two more will raise our vitality, which I'm, again, still assuming is just going to be a point of maximum health. Other than that, I think we just run out of that area. Basically, as soon as I get a shrine, I'm going to know, like, oh, that's probably the terminating point of this area. What are they going to give you after that that's going to really be a step up? Oh, just life seed out in this direction, that's fine. Okay, so you can still fall into bits here, but the game is just fine with it. Just sets you back up at the top. I don't know if I lost a health there. I think I lost a health to something else, maybe? There's a lot of light in this area. Maybe coming in from another room. Okay, that, that could have been the game telling me something there. That wasn't just me making it up in my mind, but those candles are very luminescent. Unusually so. I warned you, crow! Yet you still persevere. I'm not sure if that's admirable or stupid. No. It's definitely stupid. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some I must have some alone time with this infuriating young lad here. Hopefully I can make him see sense. Now, please go away! No! You didn't even let me strike you this time! You already knew. You knew exactly what was coming for you. Ah, burn the coals. Burn the coals. Really felt like that conveyor belt was going to be delivering enemies into an arena. In fact, I wouldn't put it past that being something in the future as well. Inner furnace beneath the ceramic manor. Let's unlock our link back to the main hub world. Um, okay, so that's on a different elevation. It's just giving us a little bit of a preview of a later area. Hmm. So is it just going to be lighting all of the furnaces, it feels? Ah, right. And then it'll turn into the industrial world that we were all kind of expecting, right? Ooh. Okay, so their direct contact doesn't harm. They split into 
uh, aspects of themselves when they take enough damage and then they spike out in every which direction. Got it. You can track enough of those kinds of things and I won't have to take any more damage to them. I can't just guide myself entirely by instincts, or at least I can guide myself by instincts, but then I need to systematize that so I don't have to rely on instinct in the future. Take that hit. Uh, actually, I'm going to swap back to my bow for- actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm completely indecisive, but I'll, I probably shouldn't swap back to my bow in this circumstance. Just because a lot of the environment is going to require me to do fire puzzles. Over here. Nice for trying. Whoop. I mean, look, I can get your hits to take out those enemies for me. And will do as much as is possible. Consume that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. A little bit tense there. Can you get the range one? Probably not, but I can instead. You and I are gonna have words, mister. Nice try. I've seen many an enemy with a giant weapon of that ilk before. And I've fought explosive enemies before as well. Gonna get the drop on me. What happened over in that other direction when I did that? Like one of the urns burst of its own volition. Also, I was wondering if they were going to be flammable, as in they are oil and they would just take the fire and immediately explode and die. Evidently, no. We're also starting to encounter enemies who are no longer dying in a single swing or a single combo of swings. Which is the point when I said I was going to go and level up strength. Am I going to abide by it? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I instead level up my magic and just find a lot more from afar. It certainly suit me. I know that those enemies take so long to transition there that we have the ability to get away from that attack. I'm also just gonna roll against the grain here, figuring I'll be rewarded in some way for doing so. And then get my life seed, because of course. We've got nine of those bad boys stocked up. I am pretty happy with the stocks there, but it also probably means that I have the ability to use them a little more liberally than I have so far, despite the fact that I've only re ever really used them to get two health back. Sometimes three. Maybe I can use them for one. This one first, thank you. Ah! Hello. I don't even have to get involved in this. We'll fire that at you. Fire that at you. Wait and come down. Fire that at you. And we go get these back and then just stay on the platform. What are you going to do? They seem to be trying to escape. Almost. Give me some more fire. I wonder if this is like... If you are inaccessible... No, what I, what I mean to say, I wonder is if this is related to pathing. As in, if the enemy thinks that going down there somehow will allow them to access me. While I'm on a platform that is constantly changing levita uh, levitation? No. Level. It certainly doesn't need to anymore. It's found its way over here. I kind of do want to go down and fight them face first as well. 
Not only does this feel cheesy, it also feels like I may be robbing myself of a kind of fun fight. Whoa! Now they can come up here, okay? Never mind. We're all good. Now I feel okay about exploiting your first form. Usually, the smallest of them takes two hits in order to take down. Not the one we saw there. Hmm. So only if they're split out from an enemy will they take two strikes past that point? That's the assumption with which I'm working at the moment. Ah, that archer took a shot a lot earlier than I thought it would. Hang on, let's... Okay, so... The arrow will have a flash just before it fires. Got it. Useful information to have. Well, explosives, thank you. Ah, I was wondering earlier on. Specifically because the arrows do not penetrate targets. I was wondering, oh, are we going to get an arrow penetrates targets kind of thing in the future? Oh, that's going to be so cool. Don't need it. Fireballs penetrate. Okay, this screen shake is actually getting to be a bit, uh, a bit much for me, even. Although I do want a small amount of it, if possible. Just due to the fact that it really does add some weight, some feeling of weight to the combat. Uh, that's already lit. I didn't like that. I'll benefit from its lighting, though. Ah, and I've also got to start thinking about those pipes as possible spawners. You are not allowed to fight from there. Okay, never mind. I was really hoping they were going to die before I ran out of stuff there. It's okay, I have more now. Very last second dodge right there. Okay, that's more ammunition if I've ever seen it. Actually, you know what? If you can do it that way, I can just come up close and personal and finish you off that way. No need to make it as dangerous as I had. Hmm. I wonder if I'll be able to go through that grade at any point. Nope, too many grates around here. Definitely not an interactable in that way. Let me get to the fight. I know she's here. We've gone through a lot of tunnels, a lot of trials, and we're getting to about the limit that a game will usually give you in puzzles before the boss appears. A little bit more HP. Just as we said prior, I'm happy to use those a little more liberally than maybe I otherwise would have now. Uh, yeah, just making absolutely certain there was nothing I left in the previous area that could have been accessible. Golem in the center of the map. Yep. Okay, so their attack is a dash forwards directly. Which is to say, very easy to dodge. More? Hmm. 
Two of these pits are glowing, two of them are not. I mean, I'm just going to respawn after taking damage. This one? Okay. Okay. So I took two damage in order to test that, but I think it was kind of worth it. That was going to haunt me had I not. Nice. Take a whole combo of those enemies instantaneously, though. Yeah, I don't need to check it on this side. We <laughs> checked it last time. Where are you? And she can teleport. I have to manually walk through this whole thing. Easy enough on her. Ah, oh, right. I'm not going to be able to access that from here. Got it, got it, got it. Wrong thing to fire. Let's try. Again. Whew. Just enough fireballs to get me through there. Come on. You need to hit them. There's so many of them. An AOE attack is required, and I don't have any of those. I'm, I'm not allowing my first death, thank you. Oh, you really tried with that fast shot there. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> I appear to have trapped myself. of a death screen, but god damn it. <laughs> I even flexed on it before saying that wasn't going to happen to me. Like, I was never going to be caught unaware by that. <sighs> speed run our way back to that. A little salty speed run. You absolutely must die. No ifs, ands about that one. This one does get me to a later area. Allowing me to skip a huge part of the map there. If I fully explore the area, I feel no real compunction to have to actually fight the enemies there. This is held true across very, very many games. No, that's, that's going to be an exit feature later. Hello. Bye-bye. As long as you've the lion strats within you. This will work. Also, I did not need to be here in the first place, as it turns out. That's my bad. What? That, hmm. that one's still my bad. But a little of it is due to the momentum of the weapon swing. Uh-oh. I hope I don't get back to the same position and then die to the same thing because I've gone there weakened now. Dodge. Dodge. Ah, thank you. So those respawn quickly. Do those respawn every time you die? That might be their trigger. So it's a only gives you as much help as you need kind of system. Fine. 
that'll have to do. I don't really want to have to fight any enemies, but if you're going to put yourself in between me and the exit, you have to know what's going to come to you. You have to know what you've earned. For the laborious task of having done so. Alright. I didn't respect its wind up. I mean, look, I could just leave this room, but these enemies have been unconquered. They cannot continue that way. And you! I know I have killed you before, but you get to die again. Well done, congratulations. I'll ignore that. No! I almost, <laughs> almost did it to myself again. <laughs> yes, this is loose, uh, the loop back we've mentioned. That's... Fine. Again, I'm fine spending a bunch of them. We have a bunch of them. And what else am I going to do with them? Okay. Uh, I don't know exactly if I have to fight all of them, though. I think I will, just as they spawn, but... Again, it will be run back strats later. Although, what do we need to... Ah, right, of course. Take this up. So if that one opens that, what does this one open, if anything? Just gonna see if it opens something off screen up there. Nope. Does not appear to. Ugh. Not. Exactly the ideal positioning for myself right there. That is though. Come on. Get a little closer. As I position myself okay. We can get them down as soon as they do their first strike. seems accessible from that one. So much easier to run away from them. Hmm. Is this intentionally attempting to chain through enemies? Like, it looks like it might be altering its path very slightly between them. Because that didn't seem like a straight shot a couple shots ago. Oh my god. It's exactly the kind of thing that I thought I was going to be able to avoid when splitting the largest slime. Just trying to stun lock the mid slimes until they become small slimes, unfortunately. Taking damage from my attempt. Perfect. Anyone else got a question? That uh, answer? Well, apparently not for you. I'm not going to be able to hit you. Ah, oh, that refreshes. Good. Yes, I am. Again? Happy to spend as many of these as is needed. Oh, I'm out of souls at the moment also. This has got to be the boss fight. I've seen a boss fight in my life before. I know it's 34 minutes. So we'll start the next episode with the boss fight. I say that only knowing that the boss fight may take a couple of lives. So we either have a 34 minute episode here or we have something akin to possibly a 50 something such. I have another upgrade I want to hit here. And is it strength? 
You know what? No. I'm just going to be a speed demon. I'm going to be a speed freak on a kill streak. But I'll have to demonstrate that in the next video. Until then, my name has been Ratsony. The name of the game has been Death's Door. Up in the top left, you can see a series playlist for all of my content on this game, past, present, and future, as well as directly below a YouTube recommendation the next video that it thinks you should watch. Also streaming across the screen are the credits. Those folks who are supporting the Republic over on patreon.com slash plays at or above the $10 tier. A special thanks to Tristan today.